Mr. Speaker, thank you. It's good to see you again. You know, there's a common narrative these days that the Republican Party is completely divided. Is that an overreaction? Well, I don't know about completely divided, but there certainly is a divide in, in the party. Uh, you've got uh, what I'll call the Trump uh, loyalist, and then you have uh, more traditional uh, Republicans. Now, you got some members who are both. So it's a, it's a bit of a problem. Uh, the Democrats have the same problem between traditional Democrats uh, and, uh, you know, the left-wing progressives. And so uh, it, it's kind of a, uh, a feature of a modern-day politics when you have essentially sure. a two-party uh, system. In your recent book, you wrote that former President Trump, as you put it, and I'm quoting, incited that bloody insurrection for nothing more than selfish reasons, referring obviously to the insurrection on January the 6th. Not enough Republican senators, Mr. Speaker, as you're well aware, supported an independent commission uh, being formed to examine what happened there. What do you, first of all, what do you make of that? And were you in power? What would you do? Well, listen, I watched, uh, like everybody else did, every day uh, after the election when Donald Trump was making these uh, exaggerated claims uh, about the election outcome. Having been around elections for 40 years, I've been involved in resolving disputed elections uh, during that time as well. Uh, I kept looking for the evidence. Never saw it. And, uh, and so Donald Trump does, in fact, uh, bear some of the blame for uh, what happened on January the 6th. Now, when it comes to a commission... Uh, to look at it, listen, uh, I've been through this some more times than you can count. It's hard to get both parties to agree to a fair commission. Do, do uh, you, whether it's uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just going to ask if you believe that the American people deserve to know exactly what was happening and who might have been or might not have been involved. Oh, I think that the American people absolutely need to know what happened. President Biden's considering an overhaul of the tax plan. W would a tax hike of any sort be a big advantage for Republicans going into 22 and 24 elections? Uh, it would be. It would be an advantage for them if Democrats could pass it. Uh, but I've got my doubts whether Democrats uh, are, are going to be able to do that. Uh, matter of fact, I've got serious doubts whether they're able to do that. We now know that cyber attacks, Mr. Speaker, can cripple virtually any American business. We've, we've seen it. What should Congress be doing to protect Americans and American businesses from these hacks? Well, these uh, acts are mostly done by what I would call non-state actors. And, uh, you know, they're frankly criminal enterprises, uh, but they're very good at what they do. And the federal government uh, needs to take uh, this, this threat far more seriously than we have uh, to this point. These attacks... Uh, can cripple our economy overnight. These are acts of war, in some sense, if they were done by uh, state actors. But again, most of these are done by non-state actors. Well, that's, that's somewhat well, generous, they're... because we all know non-state actors in Russia don't get to be actors without Vladimir Putin's permission. Uh, here's a case where, you know, international diplomacy is going to have to play a role. Joe Biden's going to have this meeting with Putin. Uh, but I think uh, Biden's going to have to make it clear uh, to Putin that we're not going to tolerate this, uh, especially uh, these Russian uh, hackers. Uh, you're right. I mean, they're non-state actors, but uh, we know what happens in Russia. Nobody acts without the blessings from on top. So Putin's going to have to do something about this. John Boehner from earlier. You can see the rest of our conversation, the full interview, including John Boehner's advice to President Biden on how to lead a divided party. That's posted now at CNBC.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.